your program in Ethiopia, for example, is that considered small scale still, or are you going to work small on small scale? But it's going to expand. Absolutely, it is certainly scalable because the technology is there. You know, cell phones are available at at the working level to capture this data from satellite and then then print it out and use it. You know, in in that part of the world, pastoralists are looking constantly for water for their flocks, for their uh, uh, their herds. And what this does is, is this tracks where the greenest um, underbrush is, if you will, growth is to be an indicator of water. So instead of relying on somebody who's just come in after 20 days of searching for water, we can do it within hours and deliver the kind of information that these people can then move to to, to feed their, uh, their flocks, if you will. And we're using cell technology in all our work now. It's just so important listening to this uh, women empowered, powerful women discussion just a minute ago, we've got a, a tool that we call Life Change Index, which we are actually going into our program sites and polling women over time to look at how their lives have changed as a result of, of uh, our women's initiative. So it's an exciting time for technology. Innovation is critical to how we deliver the kinds of results we're all trying to deliver. But it has to be institutionalized. And that's what we've begun to do, not just, just from time to time, place to place. It's got to be core in everything that an organization does.